Alright, starting another project here halfway on the video camera. Uh, so, what I'm doing here is I'm making a Viking style hatchet for uh, my brother. So, all I've done so far is I cut this wedge out to give it the bearded uh, style blade here. Um, so, I cut my notch out and I've taken my little hand files and you know gotten all the little creases and corners and whatnot and kind of uh, gave it a little bit of a bevel a little bit of a rounded edge uh, so with the handle what I've done so far is it comes pre-painted from uh, Harbor Freight with the red handle here you can see where that you know was full-on paint but I scraped it off with my little blade wherever that went. I don't know why I can't up oh, right here. So that that's all I used right there. Uh, and I just sharpened it so it's pretty decently sharp and you take it at a you know 90 degree from the wood and just scrape that first layer off. Uh, today I'm just actually I'm probably just gonna do this part and then we'll pick it up another time. Okay, I actually forgot I was recording, I'm gonna be honest with you. So, <laughs> can't even see my screen here. Okay, so I just took some uh, 80 grit to the whole thing here. Alright, so I'm gonna try my hand at uh, wood carving today. So you'll get be the first to see if I'm a total failure or not. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna carve these uh, runes. Alright, 
So the runes are on. I've got a bunch of other textures and stuff in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to burn over top of the uh, runes without getting the inside. We're gonna go pretty dark around the room just cause I want them to stand out a little more. You can see the lettering. Jeez, the lettering stands out way more uh, against the dark background. Excuse me. I can't wait to get this thing chopped up and made into my bumper. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the top up here, uh, to this texturing. pretty good I even like the fade on it and I hope that didn't blurry all out dude see come on man thank you all right so that's that's what we got nice little fade to it right there in the middle where you most likely be grabbing your hatchet all right that and that as you can see, I've got it all sanded down, uh, handle, I've got the axe bit polished. Well, I didn't polish it, I just took it down to 220 grit, uh, and then down to 400 grit wet sanding. Alright. Let's get some linseed on this sucker. See if my girlfriend's got a little brush to use instead of a paper towel. All right, back at it. Got a brush. Got a brush here now. Make sure I'm getting down on those dimples really good.
Yeah. There we are, guys. That is a beautiful finished piece here. The Viking Bearded Axe. Stands up very nicely. I'm really liking this. That is gorgeous. All right, there you go. Another project finished. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Ooh. Sorry. Um, Y'all have a good one. I'm gonna get rid of this crap. Uh, so much time is gonna get edited out of this video. Anyway, so that's it for today. We've got our cool Viking axe here. Which I do have the meaning for each one of these symbols. And if you're curious, just uh, you know, ask in the comments and I can leave it in the comments what what the meaning is of each symbol. So yeah, there's that beautiful thing right there. All nice and sealed up. Uh, again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out, guys.